What happens when butanoic acid reacts with methylamine, or really any amine for that matter? Well, I need you to know that a carboxylic acid plus any kind of amine, well, not a tertiary amine, but that's fine, is generally going to give you water plus something called an amide. It's similar to an ester, except the single bonded O is replaced with an N. Let's draw these out and see what happens. Butanoic acid is a four carbon long chain, and the acid is the double bonded O and the OH together. Now the amine is NH3 with some stuff replaced. One of those H's gets replaced with a methyl group. So let's do CH3 and then we'll do NH2. You could have also written that as a line with NH2. One carbon, that's connected to the N, then this is hydrated, hydrided, whatever, it's full of hydrogens. Now, what's happening when you do this amidization reaction is that the OH from the carboxylic acid and one of the H's from the amine are gonna get together and create the product of water. Instead of this single bonded O being attached to that carbon, you're going to connect it to that N instead. That N is still connected to an H here, and it's connected to this CH3 group. Shall we draw it together? Sure. We still have our four carbon long chain with the double bonded O, but that's not oxygen anymore. That OH left in the water you're now connected to the N of the amine, which was still connected to one of the H's. It brought two and only one of them got used to pair up with that to make H2O. And you have this CH3 group. You can write CH3 there or not. There you go. Now naming this trickier business, the way that amides get worked is the, double, the carbon chain that has the double bonded O gets the root of the name. It's still four carbons long, so we're gonna call it butanamide. Then you have to name all your substituents. The only substituent here is a methyl group on the N. So we'll call that N-methyl, oops, almost spelled it wrong, N-methylbutanamide. You can see the butanoic acid became the butanamide root. And the things that were connected to the amine are now prefaced with an N to show people that that's where it's attached to. The reason we have to use that N there is because the one, two, three, four numbering system corresponds to the root of the name. That methyl group's connected to something different. It's the N of the amide. Here you are. It's beautiful. Just like you are. Best of luck.